Naruto, 10 Biggest Underdogs Who Proved Everyone Wrong Not everyone in Naruto is recognized for their abilities right away. Some characters have fought to prove themselves to superiors and peers alike. The ninja world of Naruto is not only competitive, but every day is filled with life-or-death situations. These reasons alone make the ninjas who grow up within the hidden villages want to be the strongest and most proficient fighters. However, these aren't the only factors motivating them. There are some that have goals and vendettas, while others have a strong desire to simply be acknowledged. Some characters earned recognition from both superiors and peers for their fighting ability. Like Sasuke Achiha. This isn't the case for everyone, and other students like Naruto Uzumaki had to fight for acknowledgement. There were some who just weren't taken seriously. And as disappointing as that was for them, it only motivated them to work that much harder to prove their doubters wrong. 10. Tenten's rigorous training and determination led her to be a strong kunoichi in her own right. Ten Ten wasn't seen as a serious kunoichi when Naruto started. She was made a member of Team Guy, which also included Niji Hyuga and Rock Lee. Tenten's fighting dexterity wasn't as impressive as the rest of her team. She didn't have Kekiai Genkai like Niji or expert Taijutsu prowess like Lee. She was a weapon specialist. The extent of her power looked weak especially after her loss against Tamari during the Chunin exams. However, Ten Ten proved that her weapon mastery was more effective than others thought. She was later able to complete S-ranked missions without needing help, and played a huge role in the Fourth Great Ninja War as she took out many adversaries using the legendary Bashosen without any guidance. 9. Might Guy's late start didn't stop him from becoming a strong shinobi and sensei. Guy took after his father in that he was a late bloomer. In his early days at the academy, he didn't show as much promise as the rest of his classmates. In fact, during his first meeting with future rival Kakashi Hitaki, Kakashi refused to acknowledge him as any sort of competition. With the help of his father's positive teachings, Guy went on to be one of the strongest shinobi in the Hidden Leaf Village. He unlocked secrets of chakra that allowed him to perform special techniques like the Eight Gates. He's an incredible sensei with taijutsu capabilities that make him a tough competitor in every battle. 8. Shino constantly proves that he deserves to be remembered. Shino is constantly forgotten throughout the series, Naruto even has hard a time remembering his name. He's not the most talkative character and doesn't get as much screen time as the rest of his team. However, whenever Shino does show up, he makes fans wonder why he isn't shown more often. Shino's tracking abilities and insect techniques are vastly underrated. He saved Sasuke and battled Kankuro when the Sand Village unwittingly joined forces with Orochimaru to take over Konoha. He also helped his clan confront Conan during Pain's attack. Shino might be a man of few words and appearances, but whenever Shino does appear on screen, he is saving the day. 7. Choji has proven that he is someone his comrades can rely on. Choji was always looked at as the chubby jokester. His main focus was food, and he didn't put much effort into his training. During his days at the academy, his teammates and sensei had to prepare him for training or battle by referencing his weight, it was a sure way to get him fired up. Still, some of those instances resulted in failure as he was easily subdued most of the time. After Sasuke was kidnapped by sound ninjas, each ninja that went after him had to fight for their lives in order to defeat those that were tasked with bringing him back to Orochimaru. Choji's fight against Jirobo proved that when his comrades are in need, Choji is capable of holding his own and protecting those that he loves. He went on to continue to show his strength in the Fourth Great War by using his clan ultimate technique. Butterfly Mode, to back up his team. 6. Rock Lee's belief in himself and inability to quit has made him nearly impossible to beat. 
Li knew the incredible speed and taijutsu strength he possessed and was ready to test it against the strongest of his peers. Sasuke Uchiha Li's speed proved that it wouldn't be an easily battle, and Sasuke was unable to stop his attacks even though he could see them. One of Li's most incredible victories came after his fight against Gara. Even though he did well evading Gara's sand attacks and stunned onlookers when he dropped his ankle weights, he was defeated when Gara, feeling humiliated, used his sand coffin technique to crush one of his arms and legs. With help from Tsunade Senju, Li shocked everyone when he not only gained use of his damaged arm and leg, but showed up to help Naruto and put up an excellent fight against Kimimaro not too long after his surgery. 5. Ino has given her team support in battle and played a vital role in the Fourth Great Ninja War. Even with a powerful Kekiai Genkai that granted her telekinetic abilities, Ino still was very weak initially and wasn't very helpful to her comrades. Upon graduating from the academy, Ino quickly rid herself of the childlike mentality that fueled her rivalry with Sakura. She began to train harder and gain strength as she grew throughout Naruto. During the Fourth Great Ninja War, Ino pushed past her limitations and played a pivotal role in her team's defense attacks. Her mind transmission technique allowed for the allied shinobi forces to communicate with one another from different battlefields, creating a way for Shikamaru and other leaders to guide them to victory. 4. Killer B overcame the hatred of his village and became a beloved member of his clan. Like most Jinchuriki, B was ostracized by his fellow villagers for having one of the tailed beasts sealed inside of him. Villagers would throw things at him as he walked through the village when he was a child. B not only overcame the hatred he was bombarded with, but became one of the strongest shinobi among the hidden villages and earned the love of the members of his home. The Village Hidden in the Clouds he formed a close bond with Gyuki which granted him control of his tailed beast chakra, mastered a seven sword style, and is the best rapper in the entire shinobi world. 3. Might Duwei saved his comrades and became a legendary hero. Might Duwei was known as the eternal genin, as he couldn't graduate past that level. He was a grown man with teammates as young as his son. He even had to make pleas in order to be allowed to go on lower level missions. Despite the judgments of those who looked down on him, Duwei took every opportunity to operate with grace, excitement, and positivity. On his final mission, Duwei sacrificed his life by using the Eight Gates to kill four of the swordsmen to save his comrades and died as a hero, claiming a victory that most of the ninjas from his village couldn't. Duwei earned the recognition of everyone who chastised him. 2. Gara released his pain and became the Kazakage. Being the son of the Kazakage didn't save Gara from the tradition of hating all Jinchuriki. While feeling the pain of this hatred, he discovered that his uncle tried to kill him and he was told that his mother hated him. Gara then decided that he'd rather be feared than face the pain of rejection. He spent the rest of his younger years satisfying a thirst for blood and isolating himself from everyone, including his siblings. At the beginning of Naruto Shippuden, it is revealed that Gara became the new Kazakage of the Sand Village. He was now a beloved leader and even sacrificed himself in his fight against Daidara in order to protect his village. As a result, countless shinobi and kunoichi risked everything to bring him back. 1. Naruto accomplished every goal he set and earned the respect of his village. Naruto felt the sting of loneliness for most of his young adult life. His main goal was to be acknowledged by the people who hated him so much. He not only wanted to gain recognition, he wanted to become Hokage. Naruto struggled during his days at the academy, he wasn't particularly book smart and almost didn't graduate. In his fight against Mizuki, Naruto created innumerable fully functioning clones as he was determined to protect Iruka Sensei, the first person to show him affection. He made his worst jutsu his signature attack. 
and it was the first of many illustrations of Naruto's perseverance. By the age of 17, Naruto saved his village several times, mastered Sage Mode and his father's Raisingan. Created a contract with the tailed beast that initially didn't want anything to do with him, and protected all of his comrades during the Fourth Great Ninja War. Naruto refuted everyone's doubts and became the seventh Hokage of Kanahagakure. Accomplishing every goal he said he would.